Hello, welcome back. Curiosity, the monthly roundup of the science show. This is for May 2024, episode number 55. Cannot believe it's such a long show, right from 2019, you know, so all the way back in COVID time, you know, the early days of the COVID. Right, so this is for the May, as usual. How does the word May comes from? May is from Greek goddess Maya. The goddess of fertility, goddess of adulthood, you know. And um, next month is also quite related. June is coming from Eu Neorus. So Eu Neorus is again a month of young people. The god of young people is Eu Neorus, right? Quite related. And as per the florigraph, it is a month of uh, a lily of valley flower. That is a Convalaria majalis flower. So as usual, we'll see what really moved the world of sciences last month, right? In the in the month of uh, uh, April, uh, of course, there is an alarming story from uh, uh, you know the media. I mean, the, many of this uh, food brand right here in India got contaminated by uh, a carcinogen that is cancer-causing chemical called eth- you know ethyl monoxide, right? So that is uh, that is pretty. Uh, bad or alarming it's masala right uh, two uh, masala brand you might have read about the story got banned in um, hong kong and singapore their drug administration is much more stronger right stringent and um, uh, you know ethylene oxide it is ethylene oxide and then eu bans additional 527 indian food products because of the same molecule you know and uh, yet another story is that nestle a uh, very famous uh, Swiss brand, deceptively added sugar into the baby food sold in India and other developing countries. Uh, that is, uh, they accepted this allegation. That is another very important story. And uh, uh, another one is uh, from the Dubai, torrential rains wreak havoc. And uh, there are a lot of fake news coming that it's mainly caused by cloud seeding, which is incorrect. You know, so it is main, uh, you know, the, the latest evidence suggests that the torrential rain, the main reason is that uh, warming up of the ocean, right? Oceanic warming is responsible. It's not just in Dubai, also adjoining areas and also in even in Oman, uh, rain wrecked havoc, you know, and it just coincidentally, the cloud seeding also happened, uh, you know, that is, uh, yeah, uh, uh, you know, post hoc. Ego prompter hawk fallacy is very important, right? Just because of this, you cause that, right? Uh, that is that is a cognitive bias. Anyway, next story is from the animal world. Influential scientist, animal behavior scientist, agreed that animals have a realistic possibility that uh, it has something called, you know, consciousness. So till date, we thought the consciousness is a typical human endeavor, right? Human fraternity. Uh, but now nowadays that, uh, I mean, we, we still uh, knew that, right? We knew for a long time there is a test called mirror test. You might remember it. So those animals that can re- recognize their own images in the mirror. So they tend to be conscious animals, you know, like fish and all, right? But now it, the news is coming from insects, you see. So even uh, reptiles, insects, and even mollusks can be conscious. That is what these animals are saying. That is pretty interesting. And we have already knew that, right? Many of these insect uh, use, for example, dance, right? Vogling uh, by the bees, very famous by Austrian scientist uh, uh, Karl von Frisch in 1973, he discovered, he won the Nobel Prize in 73, right? In 40s, he discovered this, that the bees, they, they dance to communicate which direction to go for the honey and also how far to go. And there is another very interesting uh, TIL, uh, things that I learned, today I learned, right? So recently I learned that the ants, they count their steps to locate the food and to go to go back to the same place from their origin. So how, how many steps they have taken? Very interesting, right? And uh, another animal related story is the bioluminescence. When did it originate in the giant tree of life, the organic evolution in on the planet Earth? So glowing in the dark happened three 
hundred million years earlier than what we thought. So it originated in Cambrian era, the Cambrian explosion, 540 million years back. And it's used for communication, courtship, as well as for camouflage, right? Uh, that's very interesting. Fourth story, women are less likely to die when treated by female doctors. So if you are a, a woman, uh, you know, uh, listening to this show, it makes more sense to go for a, a women surgeon or women doctor in general. Very interesting, right? Yeah. Uh, next story is the intelligence and kindness are two most valued traits in romantic partners. The other sex, right? If you're looking for the romance. So successful romance, mainly world over, the two main traits what the partners look for are one is kindness and another is intelligence. Very interesting, isn't it? Next story is about the intelligence. As we know, intelligence is uh, uh, mostly determined by the gene. It's not by nurture, but it's by nature. You know, the new story is that IQ scores as well as the genes associated with intelligence are associated with liberalism, right? Liberal political lineage. So liberals tend to be higher in IQ and higher uh, in those genes expressed for the intelligence. Very interesting. It's Well, it's coming from the US. Might not be reproducible elsewhere, but again, it's pretty interesting. Next story is from the psychology. Narcissists are more likely to fire more narcissists in their workplace. You know, if you have a boss who is a narcissist, so hiring is biased. Very interesting, right? Next story is an optimistic story for the long COVID patient, the brain fog, right? Though, though some people have, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunate people have a, uh, a very nasty occurrence of the COVID that haunts them for years. So the new story is that after 24 months, most of the long COVID patients recover, at least their immune system recover, and their symptoms resolve over time. Very good. Next story is about Alzheimer's risk associated with stressful life events in early and midlife. You know, early childhood and midlife. If you ever went through uh, stressful life events, chances are high that later in your, you know, life that is towards the older age, you might develop Alzheimer's. Yeah. Microplastics in the gut can go all the way to brain. It can even cross the blood-brain barrier as per the new paper published last month. Many cancer drugs remain unproven even after five years of uh, accelerated approval. We have seen this accelerated approval during the COVID-19 uh, time, right? The COVID vaccines uh, got approved so much faster without even uh, passing through the stringent uh, you know, requirement of the FDA. Of course, it has. Uh, because the requirement is to get something immediately, right? That is why the accelerator approvals happen, right? Uh, so the drug companies need to, uh, you know, uh, they don't really have to go for this stringent p-value based uh, hypothesis testing, sort of called RCT. Uh, instead, what they need to go for is something called non-inferiority trial. So this uh, st story is nothing to do with the COVID-19, don't worry about it, but it's about the cancer drugs. Even after five years after this non-inferiority trial-based approval, it's not working. You know, it's unproven. There is no RCT on this slide. So that is alarming. Oh, by the way, last month I, I saw so many news here in India criticizing the, the COVID-19 vaccine that the company, the AstraZeneca, the Swiss, UK multinational company, accepted that it can cause, uh, you know, blood clots. Well, partially true, it, is, it happened in the UK, a very small court, they accepted it, but we knew it, you know, the D-dimer formation for such a long, long time. But that's such a small story which have never been highlighted in any international media, but so much disproportionate highlight here in India. And do you know why? Election time. People want to criticize the government. People want to criticize the COVID shield effort. I have complete trust on COVID shield, friends. I, you know, my life is saved because of thanks to the vaccine. 
right so vaccine hesitance and this kind of uh, fake news or uh, rather sensationalized headlines you know affect in eroding trust in science so that is a very important problem you see next story is the decades old cans of salmon reveal changes in ocean health very interesting the parasite burden on mammals so what happened is that this uh, is coming from seattle uh, you know university of washington i was an alumnus of i'm an alumnus of that university friday harbor labs you know so this is uh, uh, you know what they did is that they they want to see that in uh, you know uh, uh, time series data you know long long time back how much was a parasite compared with today's parasite so basically parasite affecting the mammal you know that is what the sto story is all about again coming from friday harbor labs so what they found is uh, well they they have nothing to compare against right today's a uh, parasite lord we knew it but seven 1970s then suddenly they got a very interesting curiosity driven uh, you know um, curious driven idea that discarded salmon cans from one of the factory in seattle they sourced it and they looked at the uh, insects in 1970s and what they found is that insects have tremendously increased almost doubled in 2024 what is happening so insects are increasing because the mammals are increasing so that shows that you know conservative optimism the conservative success story of marine mammal you know that is very good that uh, you know uh, yeah so years long conservation efforts from organizations like IUCN did work you know that's amazing next story is about the bias good looking lawyers you know and those coming from privileged race that means white in in the us right wins their cases often you know that is pretty alarming rather right it's a it's a bias right if the lawyers are good looking uh, they tend to win more cases uh, it's not just a lawyer right in general right the looks i mean uh, uh, good looking people are disproportionately become successful yeah that is that's a bias unfortunately this is what is happening in the world and the new study from the u.s supreme court hearings finds that the male and white participants are more likely to interrupt women and person of color speakers so if a person of color that means uh, you know black or hispanic or asian speaks or irrespective of the color a woman speaks chances are high that white men can interrupt more well white men are the most privileged people right uh, i mean the the racial supremacists the only kind of mankind ever set foot on moon right that is a white man anyway 14th story less animal protein might equal to less cancer and more longevity as per the new paper you know very very interesting paper uh, well it's it's about animal protein only not the plant-based protein okay and also the study is only about those people uh you know less than 65 years if you're older than 65 years no problem just have more protein in your diet right no problem with that will having more protein will increase your longevity but if you are less than 65 like me protein is important but if i start having whey protein for example it's an animal protein right animal because it's a uh, it's coming from dairy milk milk is an animal product right so whey protein uh you know uh have uh you know higher igf you know insulin like growth factor one activity that leads to higher chance of developing cancer so animal protein should be less but plant-based proteins like uh, tofu you know or uh, lentils right uh, can be higher no problem with that right so that is that's very interesting next is about the coffee i love coffee and good good news for all those coffee lovers so those who drink more than two to four cups of coffee they have lower chance of bowel cancer recurrence so it's all about those people who already had bowel cancer quite similar to uh, colorectal cancer right so those who had 
bowel cancer and they recovered. So recurrence, that is reoccurrence of that cancer, chances are reduced. If you drink more than two cups of coffee, two to four cups, right? If it's one cup, it doesn't have an impact. Very interesting. Next story, the 16th story, nearly half of the Chinese cities are sinking. Half of Chinese cities. That's alarming. And why the cities are sinking? That is going below the ground level 5 meter if you compare in last few decades. Or because of the excessive groundwater extraction leading to land subsidence. Well, this problem is universal. Especially here in Punjab, I'm talking to you from Patinda in Punjab. Uh, Punjab also, the groundwater extraction has skyrocketed recently because of the paddy cultivation, right? The paddy is non-native uh, species here. And uh, yeah, land subsidence is a big problem here that in, in the coming years that we have to wait and watch in light of this study. Next is, uh, uh, yeah, uh, it is, uh, you know, um, sad demise of Peter Higgs, the Nobel Prize winning physicist who predicted the existence of subatomic particle which later named after him Higgs boson right so boson coming from Bose uh, you know our own uh, Jagadish Chandra Bose isn't it well uh, Peter Higgs dies at the age 94 54 year old US women becomes the second ever recipient of a xenotransplant from pig so this woman got kidney transplant uh, because she was not qualified to get a human transplant because of the extreme risk of mortality her heart is again not working the heart is so she is completely after acmi machine uh, you know that is basically the heart lung machine artificial heart and then she got this transplant from the pig and what i really like is that this is not just normal pig kidney but it is genetically modified the pig uh, is a gmo it knocked out a very important gene called, uh, you know, alpha gal, alpha galactose. So that the reason is that this gene, if it is present in kidney, it produces a protein that, uh, you know, elicitate el our own immune system for rejecting this kidney transplant, right? So to minimize the risk of transplant rejection. They knocked out. They knocked out means that they suppressed that gene in that transplant. Very interesting. And in addition to kidney, the same women also got thymus gland. So you see the thymus gland kind of, uh, you know, it, uh, it teaches our uh, immune system not to reject that, uh, you know, this kidney from pig. So pig thymus and pig kidney, you know, got implanted into this woman. She's fine now, okay absolutely fine science is miraculous science is truth friends you know believe in it next story the last story coming from here in india chennai mgm healthcare mrs ayesha rashan she is a, a teenage girl from pakistan got her entire heart transplanted fantastic news and you know what i really like more about this news it's not about the humanity but uh, more than humanity, uh, well, you know, uh, she and her family is completely abject poor. They couldn't even afford to have this kind of transplantation, forget a simple heart surgery. There is a very interesting NGO in the, in the Chennai. I never heard this name before, okay? Uh, kudos to you, the NGO. Aishwarya Trust, Chennai-based NGO. They raised the fund for this surgery. A amazing job. It's a humanitarian job. You know great uh, news really like it that is the cover image of this story of the blog post so by the way all these stories around 21 stories the links are in the show notes uh, you can click on the show notes to take you to my uh, you know medium blog and over which each story is there is a hyperlink you can click on to it to to go directly and read that source the original papers of these stories okay Next session of the curiosity is the observances, science-related observance uh, of the coming month, that is uh, May. Today, 1st of May is uh, Labor, right? The Labor Day, right? May Day. For this Moon-Saturn conjunction, Moon and Saturn are pretty close by. 
and fifth the next day is moon mars conjunction 11th is world migratory bird day 12th international day for plant health all plant pathogens uh, you know uh, 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 you know uh, uh, yeah uh, plant pathologists the day for you guys uh, yeah so be aware of plant pathogens right and uh, let us ensure the health of the plants 13th is mercury in the morning sky the best day of the year to spot the mercury 16th is international day of light and be more aware of the light pollution 20th is world bee day yeah we we discussed something about the bee right we covered bee in our uh, uh, curiosity this uh, this episode about the bee dance right how the bees communicate and how bees are conscious just like human being isn't it 21st is international tea day all the tea lovers of the world including myself i love tea too right 22nd is international day for biological diversity very very important day last month we saw the earth day right 22nd of april now this 22nd is for international day for biological diversity or biodiversity day 23rd is flower moon you know this year's uh, this uh, month may's full moon is called flower moon as per the red indian almanac of the us and UN also observe it. It's called Vesak. You know, Vesak is a day of full moon. Yearly only one day UN dedicate for the full moon. That happens in May. And finally, on 31st is World No Tobacco Day. You know, and also on the same day, Moon Saturn conjunction, just like on the 4th of moon, uh, this, uh, you know, this May. Final section of the curiosity is the opportunities. So two days from today, that is 3rd of May is the deadline for next Japan fellowship. So Japanese government international doctorate fellowship. I was an alumni of it, right? I am an alumni rather, right? So very prestigious scholarship. 30 Indians per year get selected. Uh, the airfare to and fro is covered. And also the, uh, uh, the you know, it, uh, it is, uh, I think it is uh, 145,000 Japanese in these days per month and tuition fee there is a complete waiver also right so it is it's pretty good uh, you know and it is uh, uh, above all you get an opportunity to learn a completely brand new culture the japanese culture and also to work with uh, maybe if you're lucky maybe who knows the, the nobel prize winner too so many nobel prize winners living nobel prize winners in japan so check it out that scholarship okay uh, that is for 2025 yeah, it's it's very simple you just need to send an email application as an attachment okay uh, that is uh, the third may is a deadline okay and uh, if you're a young explorer uh, if you're doing this kind of work combining two completely different di disciplines together you know like the interdisciplinary work and if you're less than 10 years from your phd degree yeah you can apply for this nomis young explorer award coming from uh, you know, Triple AS, publisher of Science Magazine, prestigious US magazine. Cyprus Government Postgraduate Fellowship is also open. 15th May is the deadline. Another prestigious PhD program, uh, Fulbright Nehru for the US, is also open. 15th July is the deadline. Again, two more months to go. Then, uh, if you are interested to organize regional young investigators meeting uh, as a young investigator meeting alumni why i am alumni can apply for it uh, the fund is coming from department of biotechnology it's all uh, by india bioscience a fantastic organization i'm very much part of it you know ibs so uh, this call is open now uh, 10th may is the deadline for this uh, call check please check it out birak sbirai grant is also open by the birak uh, uh department of biotechnology it is to develop affordable products you know yeah 15th may is the deadline and of course there are a lot of jrf calls are open and um, please do check our facebook link as well and be part of our facebook group and that's it for the month of may i wish you all a month filled with curiosity and uh, imagination for uh, excellent scientific and humanity research and best wishes throughout the month of 
May, and I will see you soon with yet another curiosity inspiring episode for the month of June. Till then, please take care of yourself and uh, someone else too, if you can. Bye.